Hello, welcome everybody to Daily Chess. This is episode number one. I'll be playing 10 minute chess. Uh, I'm currently rated 1610. Uh, and we will be talking about our thought process later in the day today. Um, after I have had time to think about the game, do other things, I'll look at it with an engine and then bring my analysis to you in a later video. Uh, and I'll link that uh, in the description. Here we go. Here's the first game. We're white against the 1673. We're going to start off with d4. He plays the Indian game with c4. Okay. We have the East Indian defense. And I play the Catalan variation. Okay. And we're going into main line stuff. He can take this pawn. He can throw in a check. He took. I actually know these systems quite well. C6 is not a good move. B5 is not a good move. A6 is not a good move. Knight C6 is not a good move. So he has lots of options here. But this is actually pretty hard to meet for him already. He went for C5. I've never seen C5 ever. What? He said, oh my goodness, my brother fell for gold in the relationship because Andy and both of her face are getting married. Mm-hmm. He said, oh my god, should I change my Brita filter? And she said, it depends on how much you use it. <laughs> and she said, stay up. Stay focused. He's like, yeah. It was just really funny. It was quick. All right. So he played c5. He's trying to disrupt the center, but he is opening up the long diagonal. Uh, if he takes, I'm happy to take back. So here I'm just going to castle. If he takes, he's opening the long diagonal which benefits me more than it benefits him. Okay, he's played this move here. Let's see. He doesn't have a queenside mass that I should be attacking right away. Um... Hmm. I've seen people get knight c6 beforehand but not normally after. So I want to play a move like this, but that hangs this pawn, obviously. So I feel as though I should defend this pawn. I also want to attack this pawn. Let's defend this pawn to begin with. And our knight can go here to take, the, oh, that's, I don't think that's a good move. Take back with the knight, take back with the bishop. We will take back with the knight. Long diagonal is totally mine in this position, so I'm guessing we're gonna we're gonna see a, a bishop there. We didn't. So he's giving us the pawn, and we'll take it. If he doesn't want the pawn, I'm gonna take the pawn. I'm going to take the pawn. Okay. So this guy's going to be a little bit weak. He's going to go after my center pawn. So we will play... Get our knight out. Stopping any pawn pushes. That would disrupt my queen. Although that would drop his, his rook. Okay, so he's trying to save the rook. Sensible plan. I want to play this to provoke the bishop to go to d6. <laughs> so if I go here to provoke d6, what if I gain? He's really trying to make this move work, so we should just stop that move from happening. a4. Okay, and he concedes. So he wants to take, he wants to, you know, grab onto the long diagonal, which I can't blame him for. It's a great idea. He has one, two, three guarding the square. I have one, two, three defending. So let's add a fourth to the defense of the square. There's also some tactics where after bishop f4, yep. Here, 
rook there is annoying, actually. And I should have thought about it for like half a second before making the move, but I have one, two, three, four defenders. Yeah, he has a lot of defenders as well. And after this move, if I move my queen, I still have adequate defenders this part, but his rook does invade. Still defending and threatening to push. That push is pretty bad for him. Uh, my bishop can land here or here. Okay, I gotta talk more. <laughs> I gotta try to figure out what's going on. So he's a lot of pressure here, so he can just trade everything if he wants to. Um, at the end, though, I believe I would win a pawn. Because after takes. Uh, knight takes, this threatens to win the queen via knight takes there. Okay, bishop here. And he's just going to invade on the, on the back rank. Um, I will as well. So it'll be, it'll be, it'll be fair in that sense. Um, yeah, so I'm threatening to invade. He's threatening to invade. I'd be more worried about my invasion than his. Let's invade. Let's invade. Attacking pawns. Hmm. problem. His rooks are more active than my rooks. My king is more safe than his, I would say. As in his king can't move off the back rank. Or his rook can't move off the back rank. But this trade's bad for me in any in any case, because here or there would eventually pick up the pawn. Like my rook would have to come back this way to defend. Is that even true? If he goes rook there, so after takes... So I'm, I'm analyzing takes, takes, rook here, picking up the central pawn. I could play rook here, defending that pawn. He would take this pawn. Okay, this is the line we're having. And I do have to take. If he takes this guy, I take this guy. He didn't even take. That to me is kind of an odd decision. Do I take his pawns or do I defend my own pawns? Let's grab a passed pawn. So he's going to try to do this and checkmate me. So we have subtle threats of our own. Can you just go here anyway? Check. The idea is I can't I can't go here because Rook would come here. So I'm, I'm just saying his threat he wants to go here. Uh okay, that just drops a rook for nothing. He's gonna resign here. Yeah. Sorry about that. That's unfortunate. That's a mouse slip. Um 